Welcome to another enjoying a watercolor lesson. This channel is all about learning how to draw and paint with relaxation. If this is the first time to our channel, please subscribe and turn on notification. Start with the yellow color. Take the yellow with the little red. A little bit more yellow. Okay. And make sure I have enough water. If not, it's going to dry too fast. So I'm going to start from this corner. I'm going to start over here and coming down and have a little bit gap, a little broken, and coming up over here. I'm going to try to find a way to make it look more interesting. So like that. Okay. A little bit more wet. Keep adding more and more wet to it. Okay, coming a little bit lower over here. Now I need to have a little bit more red and even a little bit blue. So make it a little bit more darker. Right? That's good. More red and yellow. Okay. Adding the color and let it come in gradually and coming the color a little bit darker at the bottom here. Okay, and let it merge together. And now coming on this side, I'm going to have a little bit blue color with the yellow color. I'm going to take the yellow color from the other side. Okay, take the little bit more. And I'm going to have, this is what be the foundation color and then put it on this side. I need to have more color and the tip over here. It need to be darker, but it cannot be like a one times finish. And also use the tip and just add the, a little bit shape, a little zigzag shape at the edge. And then keep coming down. And this color is going to merge together, but I don't want the color, too much color merge onto this side. And keep it a little brighter on the other side. I'm going to have the yellow color. You see, as I'm painting on this, as the foundation color, I'm mixing it, the color, new color, and I'm going to go in a little bit faster and going from place to place. And I'm going to just keep painting also the edge over here, looking for the bigger shape to see how it looked like. I'm going to have a little bit more brighter color on the edge over here. I'm going to have a little bit yellow, too much. Have a little bit more yellow right over here. I'm going to actually add this color right on the edge. So you can see those color is getting a lot of light. I'm going to also add a little red color. So this color, a little bit fresh orange color. Here you go. Now coming like this. Coming all the way to the bottom here. And now this side is kind of look a little bit dry. That's okay. And we're going to come back to do another round after this whole thing drive. Now at this point, I'm going to add the color of the stem. I'm going to mix a little orange color, the red and the yellow. All right, I'm going to have it over here, star in the middle over here. And moving it, you can control this click of your brush very easily. Okay, coming over here, that's good. Now I'm going to change it to yellow color. You see, when this is wet, you can have the color change. I'm going to take this color, a little bit more yellow already. Now, from here, connect that up over here. So you have a nice transition from one color turn to the other color. And now I'm going to wait until it drive. Oh, wait a minute. Right now I'm going to mix a little brown color, just the red 
and the yellow color and with a little blue you get the brown color all right that's good i'm going to just add this color not lots of wet it just add the little color over here it's still a little wet over here so it's called all like a merge together very nice and over here getting a little dry so i'm going to add a little bit brown color over here too have a little bit edge and look at that and it's a little bit too wet it's okay add a little bit the brown color on the edge over here and it is too wet we can come back to do that after it get drier or completely dry in the middle over here i can tap a little color here that's good all right and the tip tip over there i'm going to add some even darker color this color just the blue and the red color i'm going to just tap it right over here see that because it's wet you can have the color all kind of merged together very nice and i can add a little bit of color on the edge over here too okay a few dot over here that's good okay i'm going to start my second layer from the top over here this call wet up this is this wash after it drive so wet on dry i'm going to start from the top over here have a little bit more like a brown color and this layer we're going to suggest the shadow and i'm going to put this color in here okay. on this i have a little bit more brownish color i'm going to put that a little bit darker like that that's good now coming over here, have a little bit more green color over here. Connect that over. That's good. That's just the shadow area. Now I'm gonna coming over here. I'm gonna make this side it look a little bit different. It need to be darker. So I'm gonna have the green color, a little bit more green, and take a look over here. And star coming down. And like a half of the leaf, a little bit more, a little bit more than half of the leaf. You see that how that coming down all the way over here, all right? And start over here. I also at this time I'm gonna kind of wet the area with the paint, like this. It's good. In the middle, I'm gonna mix a little bit darker brown color. I'm gonna have the red, mix the blue color, a little bit more red. There you go. Now I'm gonna just tap on it in the middle over here. It look a little bit darker. There you go, like this. Small coming in the middle. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit more coming up over here. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit darker color on this side. I'm gonna start coming on the outside over here. Have some yellow, some red. I'm gonna use this color and coming here. That's good. Now this have a little bit more like a orangeness feeling and then and I can soften the edge make sure those color merge together like this good and in here I'm gonna have a little bit darker so I'm gonna mix the little red with the blue color and a little bit more blue because I feel a little bit more colder a little bit cooler and have a little bit more green color into it that's good now i'm going to tap on it you see there's a little change i can tap over here now there's another wet into wet on top of the wet uh wet on wet which is already dry by now okay now coming over here and then you go. Now over here also a little bit darker, so showing that this area is a little bit bended like that. 
Now you can see the color is a lot more meaningful because they have shadow and light. And now I'm going to come to this side. I'm going to create the sections changes. So I'm going to mix a little bit orange color, get the red and the yellow color together. I'm going to start from here, like I find out where you want to start, which one you want to work on first. I'm going to work on this one. Here you go. I'm going to looking for the direction, curving like that, and that's good. Coming up over here, I'm going to tap on it and make it a little bit more. And I know that it's going to last for a few minutes and stay on wet. So I'm going to work on this one. And I'm going to come back to work on uh, the transition. I'm going to work on the next one like this. Here you go. And now I'm going to come back here, just add the yellow. Just take the yellow color. So this color is from here, the gradually it turned into yellow, right? A little bit lighter and lighter. I'm going to have a little bit more brighter yellow over here. Here you go. Now from the orange, turn to a little lighter and lighter and make it into the yellow color. And over here too, like that. I can see the uh, different, the small changes, small details. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to continue, come back over here, take a look on this one, like that. A little bit soft, like that, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit more coming over here, a little bit. Now on this side, I'm going to do another one, like that, a little. And now I'm going to come a little bit more warmer, a little red. And here, I'm going to have this. Here you go. Now I'm going to have a little bit over here too. So, seeing the color change to suggest the form change. And I'm going to come back over here on the top. Over here, I'm going to have change a little color with a little bit more like a green. Here you go, like that. And I have a little color over here. But those color also need to be like a change, have a little transition. So I'm going to just use the clean brush I'm going to tap on it to make it a little bit softer, like a transition from dark to a little light. And now I have a nice transition feeling, a little bit turning like that. I'm going to have a little bit dark over here, a little bit dark over here too. And now I look back to here, I do need some even darker color. I'm going to have just the uh, blue color with a little red and I'm gonna have a little bit darker and also have the water pushing onto the color and the edge in the middle over here you can add a little bit darker color over here too it's already dry so I'm gonna come back to add some texture, some dots. I'm going to just get the yellow color and the red color with a little blue color over here. So I can get some pretty dark brown color. Here you go. And I'm going to have that a little dot over here. And you can make up your own order. Whatever arrangement, it work better or look better in your painting. You can use that. Okay, a little dot over here, a little dot over here. Like that little dot over here, that too. And also those dots have a different kind of colors. So some are a little bit lighter. So I'm going to use a little bit more yellow and red color. Okay. That's a little bit lighter. So I'm going to come over here. There's a little dot over here too, like that. 
and a little dot on this side. There you go. And come back over here. Okay, some small darker dot. Now I'm going to come back to a little bit darker brown color. Okay, that's good. A little bit over here. And a few dots in the middle. I try to make it look random and natural. Okay, now I go over here. Now I'm going to mix a little bit darker brown color. I'm going to have a little red, a little blue color. Right. It's already pretty dark, so I'm going to have it. Here you go. Like that. And it looks like some dot over here too. There you go, like that. You can make some a little bit clear, some a little bit softer. Okay. And in this area, a few dot over here. Okay, now on this side too. Uh, you can use a little um, splashes technique and you can use the two brush and somehow you can but you need a mask to mask the uh the leaves don't let the brush they get outside of the area okay like that i think this is pretty good for the leaf and i'm gonna walk into the stem and the shadow side i'm gonna over here and have a little bit brown color on this side here you go now i'm gonna make the stem look like three-dimensional. Now I'm going to have a little bit more red. Okay, like this from here coming up. Keep it a little bit a vibrant color. And on the bottom over here, come back a little bit brown color. I'm going to have a little bit sharper contrast. Okay. And then after this drive, I'm going to walk into the cast shadow. Now the holding only drive on this side, I'm going to start painting into the cast shadow. Just think about how dark the cast shadow it should be. It need to make this side, the light side of the leaves stand out. So make sure you have dark enough color. So and also you see that it very close to the edge of the leaf, it has a little bit brown color. Because that is the color that lead through the leaf. Okay, now I'm going to start mix a little bit color for the leaf. I'm going to take a look at this is the Windsor Blue Green shade. But it looks like that color should have a little bit more of the red shade uh, blue color. Okay, now I'm going to have to make, take this blue color out over here. I need to have a little bit yellow and a little bit so I'm going to mix uh, this two color together, get a little red. There you go. That's color pretty close to the color we want. It's just a little bit more water like that. Okay. I'm going to have that's enough color here. Now what I want to do, I'm going to get a little bit red and have a little yellow color. Because I'm going to start from the areas right next to the leaf. I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, blue-gray color in. So making sure it's dark enough. We're going to try to do it like a one time. It's going to finish. I'm going to start over here. And make sure your brush have enough wet. Have enough paints. Otherwise, it's not going to connect to the rest of the... Um, the paints that you're going to put into the same area. I'm going to go a little bit faster. And obviously, it doesn't look like dark enough. So I'm going to add more water and mix a little bit more the blue color in. And I'm going to put this color in here. Make it a little bit darker here. Here you go. I'm going to put it right in this area. And here you go. Now I'm going to get 
this the bottom the top over here and make sure you add a little wet to it and all otherwise it's gonna get dry really quick and the bottom over here looks a little bit darker and also a little bit warmer now I'm gonna put this a little bit this color with a little bit more red and merge into here okay I think this probably dark enough I'm gonna get a little bit more blue here you go now now I'm gonna start at the cooler color which is get the blue color now here you go get a little bit more blue now get to the top over here and I'm gonna merge into this color and make it look a little bit more soft transition here you go now coming on this side take a look determine and here you go I'm gonna get little by little and have the color and lead it to become a little bit more more cool a little bit more cool color coming out and now here you go I'm gonna keep going take a look at where I'm gonna move the color this is wet into wet merge this color I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna take a look at I'm gonna can change modify the the shape I'm gonna have a little bit more blue with the red color here you go and I'm gonna keep going and here you go making sure that it's very consistent and similar keep the color going and I'm gonna have a little bit shape like that Okay, you got like that. Keep going. And you need to do it a little bit faster. If you do it too slow and the color would become already dry and they cannot be consistent. Okay. And now I come back here, use the same color for the catch to shadow of the stem area. Here you go. Like that. Connect that over like that coming up and connect over here. It's very similar color. Now here you go.